it really applies to everybody out here that wants to tournament fish and, and know that you're maximizing every minute, every cast. And it's basically a, a, a triangle. It's, a, it's, a, it's more than a theory, it, it, it's the deal. I mean, if you, if you pay attention and you use, you can turn the first slide. Or, there we go. So the triangle's simple. You've got sight, sound, and scent. And a lot of times we're, we're paying more attention to the sight and the sound of our lures and, and, and our surroundings. But we're forgetting how important scent is to fish. And uh, so if you, can, if, you, if you can basically make this triangle in, in every, every tournament situation, make sure you're maximizing it, you're gonna have better results in the end. I can go back to events and uh, in, in the past. It, it's funny because you, you know, over, what is it, 10, 12 years, I fished the Bassmaster Elites now. And uh, I can go back to my best events and, and recap them in my mind, I'm going, why was that tournament so much better than this other event? It's because I utilized all three of them. We get lazy, we, we forget to utilize the third, which is basically scent. Like the sound of you in the boat, the, you know, your water slapping on the boat, that, that's, gonna, that's not normal to them. If you're pulling into, into their environment and you're gonna try out there and catch, you know, the fish that they're doing their own thing and, and you're, hit, you're stomping on your trolling motor, you're mashing down, you're letting go. All these things are really disturbing the fish. And um, I'm, I'm really conscious every time I go fishing, minimize my trolling motor speed. Um, if I'm kind of just power fishing down the bank, I like to keep it on like three or four and just continuously keep going. I might catch a couple fish in a little spot. I'll try to take a big wide turn and come back around. And that way I'm just not disturbing those fish. Um, and you can, you can see when you're going down the bank, if another guy's in front of you, how they're fishing, they may not be catching them. Um, and a lot of it, I think, is it's not so much what they're throwing, it's the noise that they're making while they're fishing for those fish. All right, scent. Now, this is kind of where the whole topic begins, because the, the first two, I mean, you've got, you've got your colors or your baits, you've got, I mean, you go to Bass Pro and see everything there is, and most of it is visual and it's sound. But the scent, we, I, I know for a fact that I forget to put scent on a lot of things. Um, and it's just, it's important. I mean, I remember like fishing as a kid for striped bass with a little tiny clam that's just sitting on the bottom and catching big old stripers. I don't really think they're seeing that that great. I don't think they're, you know, hearing it, but they're definitely smelling it and eating it. Um, so yeah, I think we forget to put scent on our baits. A lot of plastic baits are pre-scented, so we don't really think about it. Um, but if you start adding, this is, this is, this is kind of where this is going. All of our hard baits, all of our spinner baits, that's sound and that's sight. There is no scent until now. So going back to, I want to say it was maybe 2002, uh, I was introduced to a scent called Mega Stripe. You guys familiar with that scent? It's a, it's a petroleum gel. And uh, I was fishing a turn by myself at, at uh, Folsom Lake. And I was throwing a jerkbait. And I was like, I'm going to put this on there because I'm you know, letting it sit there. It's just something I thought of. I ended up winning that tournament by six pounds. Caught my biggest spotted bass to this day, a seven-pounder in that tournament. The very next day, I went to Berryessa with a buddy. And I'm like, well, heck, it worked on that. I'm going to put on my lipless crankbait. Berryessa's shallow grass, flats. And we won by five pounds. So I, you know, I kind of played around with it. But then I, you put your bait back in your box. You got that gel on there. And it just kind of ruins everything in your box. So it was kind of like, well, you know, if I'm on a bite, maybe I'll just do it for that event. Learning more about like the petroleum-based gels, the thing is, the scent's great for the first few applications, first few casts, but then the molecules actually get trapped in that petroleum and they can't release anymore. So now you've just got goo that's gonna get stuck on your bait, your line, and it's gonna make a super nasty mess, even in your rod locker. I mean, it's just, it's good for, I usually, you know, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna put in my plastic bag and put all my plastic worms in and stuff like that. And then that way they got, for first, you know, several casts, I got a good scent going on. Um, and like I said, the Biffle juice now, is, when it comes to that kind of stuff, that's what I've been throwing. Um, Tommy Biffle convinced me it's the best. But, uh, <laughs> and, it, and it works. Um, fish allure, in, <sighs> this, is, this is a scientific breakthrough, I guess you could say in fishing. And uh, you guys are kind of hearing it first. Fish allure is a, decal that you can put on your hard baits. And uh, it's actually layered in a way that as it gets wet, it activates. 
And so now you've got a scent trail that will go for a complete hour per decal. And um, we're, we're actually releasing um, a whole scent line of my signature scents. Um, but what it is, it's, it's real fish amino acids, and it's applied through layers into this decal. And uh, now you can add it to, and I'm gonna show you here. Welcome to Bass University TV, an online video training course where you'll learn champion bass fishing techniques from pro anglers Pete Gluzek, Mike Iaconelli, and their talented special guests. From on the water to in the classroom, you'll learn sound techniques and strong fundamental bass fishing skills. Watch hours of video content on multiple topics at your own pace for a low monthly fee. Cancel at any time. Information is power in the sport of fishing. So learn from the very best. Subscribe to Bass University TV today.